if you want to de-stress or book a self-care appointment, I got you and we can say bye-bye to that cellulite. Anti-social butterfly podcast. Baby girl, it's okay to be shy. But now it's time to kiss fear goodbye. Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Anti-Social Butterfly Podcast. I am your host, Lizzie Correa. Thank you so much for being here. This episode today is sponsored by Pacifica. These three products right here will ensure you have hydration. I live in Las Vegas, the most driest state in the United States. So my hair needs hydration. So we have a shampoo, we have a conditioner, and we also have a leave-in mask. This is vegan collagen. It has good stuff for your hair. It has peptides and jasmine. This is silicone-free, a meant for all hair types, but especially if you have dry hair like me. Most importantly, this split ends is designed to hydrate even the most driest hair. If you have split ends, if they need a little TLC, this is going to be your friend. Thank you Pacifica for making sure our hair is beautiful and hydrated. Make sure you check out this vegan hair collection. Now let's get into this week's episode. Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. This is actually my second time recording in this episode, but we are still here. We are pushing through. I have some audio issues. I recorded the whole episode, and then I come to find out as I go back, nothing recorded. The file was corrupted. But as we set up new things, we're going to encounter some road bumps. I got a new phone. I usually record my podcast on my phone and I usually edit my podcast on iMovie on my Mac. We have done some major upgrades. I have the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is what I'm recording with right now. Usually I would have the Sure mic, but that was whole a situation with the connection now having an iPhone. So here we are. We are still pushing through. I am a little stressed that I wasted that hour, but we are learning. And with learning comes growing pains. But I do love the iPhone. It's all about making my life more simple. With podcasting comes editing, which I love to do. I absolutely look forward to editing. I had the Android phone and transferring over 30 minutes of video over to my Mac was a process, let me tell you. Before you guys come at me, I am team Android and iPhone. I love both of them. So although I do miss my Samsung Android Ultra 21, it feels like I haven't departed with it because I still feel like I have it a little bit just with an iPhone twist. So eventually I decided to go with the iPhone so that I can record my podcast and then easily airdrop it to my Mac. And now having the iPhone again after having the Android for two years, I can see that they have copied each other. So it's all about making your life simpler. You don't have to spend a lot of money, get a new iPhone to make your life simple, but what can you do? It's all about getting 1% better. And already with the next episode, I'm already learning with the new iPhone what I need to do to make my life a little simpler. Already I know with editing it's going to be so much faster i have joined the iphone family and who knows i might switch back to android i love both it's all about making my life simple and right now it's all about iphone and i was debating about waiting until september because always around september the new iphone comes so the new iphone 15 is rumored to have the type c charging but i couldn't wait guys i had to get the iphone right now but i'm just so happy to make my life easy. Now, all about making your life easy, I am now a full-time makeup artist and it's all about making our life easy. I bought a makeup storage for makeup artists. I found it on Amazon. I will make sure to link it below and I will include it also in my Amazon storefront. 
Here it is. This is my new makeup kit that I'll be carrying to makeup appointments. Whatever event you got coming up, make sure you hit me up. This is the perfect size. I'll show you guys a little bit about the bag here. Three little zippers here. And then this opens up and you can put all the makeup you want in there. So here she is, guys. Over the weekend, I did a bridal a makeup trial and I had that with me. It was so convenient to have that. And I want to thank my fellow future bride, Stephanie, for allowing me to record and take pictures. You know how some people can get a little shy. I was able to record the whole process and I created this awesome video. It's official guys and make sure you hit me up for right now DM me or you can email me at this email right here and I will let you know so that we can book your next event and I don't just do makeup I do hair updos mostly and massage for my girls who want to minimize that cellulite I got you I also do massage services and I have this oil that is specifically targeting cellulite this Oil combination right here will tone and tighten your skin. Almost everyone has cellulite. I have cellulite and there's nothing wrong with it. If you want to minimize it with movement, exercise, and massaging, it can help minimize it. I love this one right here. This is 100% cellulite smoothing oil. It has grapeseed, eucalyptus, lemon and grapefruit oil. So you can book me for a massage. If you want to de-stress or book a self-care appointment, I got you and we can say bye-bye to that cellulite. I'm so happy to finally put out there what I've been wanting to do full time. So thank you for your support. Now my makeup room is coming along. I can finally walk in my room before there was an explosion all over the floor. You could not even walk in here. I didn't even want to walk in here. I had taken all my makeup out and it just seemed that not only my makeup was all over the place, my clothes were all over the place. It was just a hot mess, but I've been cleaning and now I am able to walk in. I can say I've given away about 25% of my items. Do I feel like I'm in control of my items right now? No, I still feel like my items are winning the game here, but we are slowly coming back and we are slowly winning. I do not want to let my items control my life anymore. And we are keeping our items for intention and for purpose. This space will be used for makeup. It will be organized for types of looks. And let me just tell you, I do not need any lashes for the remaining of the year. Thank you, Kiss, for supplying your girl with lashes. We are definitely doing things differently to keep it this clean and to keep it organized. And that's number one, getting rid of stuff. As we get new items, we're going to get rid of stuff that we have. If you guys like my shirt, this is a Skankfest shirt. Skankfest is coming to Las Vegas, one of the best comedy festivals in the world. Just saying. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys have been following the Selena and Hailey Bieber drama. I have been following it. We mentioned it on a previous episode. I thought that this drama was going to die down. Knowing how Selena has handled drama in the past, she usually stays quiet or addresses it when it need be. And it looks like Selena has had to step in to address the drama once again. As you guys know, we do not support mean girls. We do not support bullying. It's all about empowerment and making people be seen and heard. And that's why I was siding with Selena because I felt Hailey Bieber was giving us mean girl vibes. Well, it looks like the tables have turned on Hailey Bieber. It seems like the internet has become the mean girl and Hailey Bieber has been receiving non-stop hate messages, negativity, death threats even. 
So Hailey Bieber had to let down her pride and reach out to Selena for help. Can you imagine how bad it must be for Hailey to reach out to her husband's ex? It's like neither party can move on because the internet is still pulling them together. Well, Hailey had enough. Apparently has been receiving so much hate that she had to reach out to Selena. So Selena posted on her Insta stories, Hailey Bieber reached out to me and let let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This is not what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I have always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. You heard it from the queen herself. She wants this to stop. I mean, we all want to move on, but there is a part of our lives that we don't really want to remember and it didn't end so well. We want to move on. If you guys really care about Selena or Justin, I would say they want to be happy. They have moved on. Let's let them move on. And like Selena said, no one deserves this kind of hate. Everyone should have the right to feel peace and safe in their own home. So the whole situation is just a big mess. It's really sad, but it's just crazy how Selena has carried herself. She could have said no to Haley. She, she could have said, you brought this upon yourself. I'm just here being positive, but nope. She took time to help her out, which shows that you can still help someone that you may have drama with or you may not like, even though you might not be friends with someone. If they are going through something and they are reaching out to you, look at Selena. Let's take an example from her and let's see if we can still try to help the person. We'll see how this unfolds. I just know Justin Bieber has not said a word, but Maybe it's a good thing because nobody will be happy. It seems like the public will not be happy with what he says because at this point, it will say, well, he's taking too long to say something. And if he doesn't say anything, well, people are saying he doesn't really love Haley. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Just today, I saw that Selena Gomez was rumored to be kissing the singer Zayn. Zayn was from the group One Direction and he did date the supermodel Gigi Hadid and did have a baby with her. I don't think that relationship ended well. He did even have a physical altercation with Gigi Hadid's mom and that got crazy. So. I was reading the comments that a lot of people are not happy with Selena dating Zayn, but you know what? She is a big girl and she can do what she wants. I was surprised because I thought she was dating one of the chain smokers. Like they say in Spanish, quien sabe. I'm just wishing for the best for all the parties involved and hopefully they can all move on. But thank you so much for being here and make sure if you haven't subscribed, we are trying to hit 2,000 subscribers and let this show you guys that things may not always go your way. You may record something and it may not work, but you still show up. You prove yourself that no matter what, you are going to be here. You're going to try no matter what. Kiss the obstacle. Goodbye. Bye everyone. Thank you so much.